You've been the target of a bully and have had enough. You finally decide to file a complaint, but then learn nothing was done because you didn't have good documentation. It has now become a he said, she said situation. Has anything like this ever happened to you? Well, on this episode of Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying, we're going to talk about how you can document clearly so that you can actually get something done about the bullies. I'm Dr. Renee Thompson, CEO and founder of the Healthy Workforce Institute. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying. Look, dealing with a bully at work is awful, especially when they've been bullying people for years, yet, to your knowledge, nobody's done anything about it. You know, I've been doing this work for a long time, and sometimes you're right, nobody's doing anything about it. But sometimes they are, or, or they're trying, but because the documentation isn't there, it's not clear, or it's completely absent, your organization might not be able to take any action against them. And that's why I want to teach you how to document incidents of bullying behavior that will help your leaders take action and actually stop them. Okay. First, don't wait to start a documentation trail. I mean, and, until like you've had enough. Start documenting early. What tends to happen is that when you're dealing with a bully, documenting their behavior is the last thing on your mind. Sometimes it's because, well, you question whether or not it's really a big deal that they gave you the silent treatment or excluded you or yelled at you or criticized, maybe you're just being sensitive. You know, other times it's because you're afraid of retaliation, okay? They will find a way to get you back. Or sometimes you don't think it's worth it because nothing will ever be done about it anyway. Sometimes you're just tired. And documenting an incident with a bully is just one more thing on your list. But here's the deal. Documenting early. As soon as somebody treats you in a way that you consider really awful. Documenting early is one of the best weapons you have against a bully. Because it's rare that any one incident leads to corrective action. Especially when it comes to behavior. But if you can show a pattern of bullying behavior over a period of time, it's more likely someone will do something about it. And that's why it's important that you actually create a documentation trail starting with that first incident. Second, be complete and succinct in your documentation. And make sure you include the following. Simple things, but you'd be surprised. A lot of times these are missing. Include the date, time, and location of where it occurred. Include any witnesses. And it doesn't matter if they document too. Identifying witnesses actually lends a little bit of credibility to your story. If you can, align someone's behavior with a patient's safety, satisfaction, or quality concern. Let's say you ask someone a question about a patient procedure and they say, I'm not your mother, go look it up yourself. Or you ask someone if they can give you the number for pharmacy, because maybe you're new, so that you can call to ask about a medication. And they say, yeah, it's 1-800-GO-F-YOURSELF. True story. That's a clear patient safety risk. And then make sure you include any verbatim comments you can, like the ones that I just shared with you. Believe it or not, that one with 1-800, you know, um, she was actually able to do something about it and hold that person accountable because she included verbatim comments and had witnesses, okay? Third, make sure you're up 
objective as possible. Okay, do not write eight pages of notes. Just include the facts. You will be more credible if you write an objective account of the incident. You know, not say, oh, this person's been bullying people for years and I've heard that they must have witnessed a murder and that's why there's no here. You'd be surprised what people say. You know, bullying happens because it can. So let's all agree to do our part to stop the cycle of bullying. We are losing really good nurses to this problem and really can no longer afford to use silence as a strategy. Document, document, and document. And then when you feel that you have shown a pattern of behavior in your documentation, then the next step will be to report it. All right, what's one key takeaway you got from this video? I would love for you to share in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and share it with others. If you want more resources, tips, and strategies to help you address bullying at work, hop on over to our website, healthyworkforceinstitute.com for some help. So until our next conversation, be kind, take care, and stay connected.